Over the years, my skin has been on a roller coaster. I have had chronically dry skin, dry skin, dermatitis prone skin. I had normal skin, then oily skin, then dehydrated skin, and then oily and dehydrated. That was a fun time. I'm now on Accutane. It's been a, it's been a real journey. And yet, throughout the years, there's this little capsule collection of skincare that regardless of what my skin is doing, I really trust this skincare. It's the stuff that I keep coming back to and I keep repurchasing over and over again. So whenever my skin is like freaking out, I know I can come back to my, my tried and true capsule collection and that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. A big thank you to Adore Beauty for sponsoring a portion of this video. It is such an honor to work with such an iconic shopping destination. Adore Beauty has over 250 brands. They do skincare, makeup, hair, nails, whatever, whatever your heart desires. There's also a lot of my favorite brands on Adore Beauty and a lot of the products that I'm talking about today are available there. They also have an incredible YouTube channel. I specifically love the skincare nerds a series that they've got going on their YouTube channel where they talk about all different kinds of ingredients and it's real like information and sciencey stuff that I, I know that you guys are gonna enjoy as well. In particular, you should go check out the video um, where Lab Muffin, one of my favorite skincare creators, she debunks some SPF myths on the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. It's just a really fun time. I will link that uh, channel in the description box. Go subscribe, tell them that Karima sent you and let's talk skincare. The Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Oil. So I know I started using this when I lived in this particular house and I was a teenager back then. So I've been using this product for over a decade. If you are um, someone who partakes in a full face of makeup or long wearing sunscreen or long wearing eyeliner, uh, if you partake in any of that, then cleansing oils are an absolute must. They're a game changer. So cleansing oil is formulated differently to say something like coconut oil or olive oil in that they have emulsifying ingredients, which means that they become milky as they make contact with water and then they rinse clean. Sometimes I feel like cleansing oils are a little bit too thick and viscous and then I don't get the kind of spread that I want. Pre-cleanse is quite a thin oil, really easy to distribute and massage onto the face. It's actually a brilliant one for massaging. I also find that some, pre, um, some cleansing oils don't emulsify entirely and then leave a little bit of film on the skin. Pre-cleanse emulsifies perfectly and it rinses clean. And that's two of the reasons why this is one of my all-time favorite cleansing oils. Even though it does rinse clean, I would recommend following up with a second cleanse, whether that be like a gel cleanse or a foamy cleanse or a cream cleanse or whatever you prefer. I consider this more of sort of a makeup remover and sunscreen remover, um, and it does that brilliantly. Next, Bioderma. <laughs> if you have been watching any of my previous empties videos, here, oh, one, two, three, four, and a little one. <laughs> You know my deep undying love for Bioderma. I just go through bottles and bottles of this stuff. I should have stocks in Bioderma. I use Bioderma on days when I'm wearing perhaps a very light amount of makeup or if I wanna quickly cleanse after a really sweaty workout or if I wanna do some quick makeup fixes, maybe fix a little bit of eyeliner or maybe on a night out when I've come home and I'm just exhausted and I just wanna quickly cleanse my face that's when Bioderma comes in really handy. It feels exactly like a water, but if you dampen a cotton round and then run it over your face, it is such an effective makeup remover. So Bioderma uses micelle technology, um, which is tiny little molecules that attract oil and makeup and it's science. If you're currently using uh, makeup wipes and you're looking for perhaps a little bit of a better alternative for your skin, micellar water is equally as convenient and I would say more effective. Ooh, this is perhaps uh, the newest discovery on this list, the IS Clinical Cleansing Complex. So I discovered this in 2020 recently, but I fell hard and fast in love with this product and I've already repurchased it. Um, it is a gel cleanser that has the tini tiniest bit of lather just enough lather to satisfy those of us who enjoy a foamy cleanser, but not so foamy that it, that it dries out the skin at all. It is so incredibly gentle. Um, I am on Accutane right now and I'm treating my skin like the most delicate of flowers, such a delicate flower. And this cleanser gets the sensitive skin 
tick of approval. It is a little bit more than I would like to spend on a foamy cleanser, but who am I kidding? I love, I love spending money on skincare. I love it. This is another big throwback for me, the Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So this one is, I would say, moderately foamy. Uh, I would say that I enjoyed this most when my skin was on the oilier spectrum, um, more so than when I was dry. I didn't use this um, every day as my everyday cleanser. I would use it about two or three times a week. Uh, just when my skin was feeling a little bit congested, a little bit rough, maybe I wanted my foundation to adhere really beautifully. I also love using this product on uh, the chest and on the back just to keep that area looking really clear. It's got lactic, uh, glycolic, your AHAs. It's got salicylic, which is your oil soluble chemical exfoliant to really get inside the pore and deep clean the pore. And it's just a really convenient way to exfoliate. I have been using that one since I was about 14. All right, let's move on to some masks. I have here an exfoliating mask. This is the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. This has both uh, glycolic and lactic acid just to kind of dissolve the very surface layer of the skin and you're just reborn with like smoother and brighter skin. Who doesn't want that? If you are someone who uses a lot of chemical exfoliants uh, or you have very resilient skin, I'm not sure this would be my first recommendation for you. Uh, this is a very gentle exfoliant. Uh, I like it because I can use it all over my face, even my more sensitive areas like the upper lip or the cheekbone, and it never causes any flakenic flakiness or downtime or redness. I can use it before an event. I can use it in the morning. I can use it during my bath. I don't have to plan or think about it. Another really gentle and fabulous exfoliant, the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Uh, these are alcohol-free, great for sensitive skin, and it's a very gentle exfoliant again. I imagine that some people could even use these daily because they're that gentle. They've got lactic and glycolic, which are your great AHAs. I've recommended these to all my family and all my friends, and everybody loves them. Everyone comes back to me and says, the First Aid Beauty facial radiance pad uh, that you recommended, Crema, they were awesome. And I'm like, I know. Um, I also really like the Stridex Red Box. Um, they're a little bit more difficult to get in Australia, and those are quite strong, whereas this is kind of like the gentler sister. Another mask, but this one is a hydrating mask, the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. You guys have heard me bang on about this product for so many years. It's like a dense, plush gel. And whenever my skin is feeling a bit sensitized or my skin barrier feels a little bit compromised, or maybe I feel really dehydrated and my skin can't just can't get enough water, my brain just goes, boop, Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. It's like a reflex at this point. It says mask, uh, but what I do is I just apply a thick layer over my entire face and decolletage before I go to sleep and I sleep in it. So I don't remove it. Although mask is a good word because it feels like this comforting gel cocoon um, that really just like instant relief. I can almost feel my skin go like, Another one that I've been using for years and years, I always wake up with fresh, plump, dewy skin, and I would recommend this to anyone who would describe their skin as thirsty. All right, for the next one, just close your eyes with me and let us just suspend our reality for a moment. Now imagine if a hydrating mask and an exfoliating toner had a baby. Imagine that. That would be the Dr. Spiller Fresh and Fruit Moisturizing Mask. It's a little bit of a jelly consistency. Damn, I love a jelly consistency. Um, and it's really super hydrating in addition to being exfoliating. It has um, enzymes, really gentle enzymes that just polish um, the surface of the skin. By the way, this does come typically in a smaller tub, uh, but I tracked down the salon size for Karima's salon. <laughs> This is another one that I like to apply a really generous layer before I go to sleep at night. And in the morning, my skin is so plump and fresh and shiny. And shiny, I mean that in the best way. It's like someone took a little bit of a microfiber cloth and just it -er, it -er, just polished the top of my cheekbone. My skin is so smooth that it does have a little bit of a shiny edge. Two cons, it's expensive and it's also hard to find. But I will put all of the information that I know in the description. <laughs> Good luck. May the force be with you. All right, onto a moisturizer, the Aven Skin Recovery Cream, another product that I've been using for over a decade. This stuff just works. It is such a brilliant moisturizer. Oh no, you've broken out in some, into some dermatitis. 
the event skin recovery cream. Maybe you've got off a plane and your skin is feeling irritated, or maybe you've tried a new foundation and your skin didn't really like it. Aven skin recovery cream. Whenever you guys come to me saying like, I need a basic bland moisturizer, Basic and blend, I use those terms in the best way possible. Whenever you guys ask me for moisturizer recommendations, I recommend the, the Skin Recovery Cream. The ingredient list is super short. There's only a handful of ingredients. There's some glycerin, good humectant, and then also some mineral oil to really lock in uh, all that hydration and uh, protect the skin from the elements. I know that some people uh, avoid mineral oil. I don't. I haven't come across any conclusive data to suggest that we should be avoiding cosmetic grade mineral oil in, in our skincare. Let me know what you guys think about that in, in the comment section down below, but the Skin Recovery Cream is just a really reliable moisturizer that has never irritated my skin. My next one is the Pi Rosehip Bioregenerate Oil. I have tried countless oils throughout the year, everything from La Mer to drugstore products, and this is the one that to me really stands out. This rosehip oil stands out in my mind and it's the one that I keep repurchasing. Rosehip oil is rich in essential fatty acids, it's rich in vitamin C, A, E, K, <laughs> and it's touted to soften and brighten and regenerate and soothe skin and that's exactly what this oil does for me. I was reading a study also that said that linoleic acid, which is one of the components in rosehip oil, might even be uh, beneficial for acne prone skin types. This rosehip oil has a really vibrant color. And I recall one of um, someone from the Pi team telling me that it's got a, such a vibrant color because of the extraction technique that they use really helps to preserve the, the potency uh, of this product. So yeah, I kind of use this anytime my, my skin is feeling a little bit dry or dull or I'm feeling a bit sallow. I'll just take like a massive pipette of this oil, put it all over my face, down my neck, onto my shoulders, onto my arms, and I wake up with brighter, happier skin. You know what, actually, there has been one constant, just one constant throughout the years of my changing skin types, and that is that my lips are always shredded. <laughs> So that brings me on to my next uh, product that I continually repurchase. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It comes in a few different colors, a few different flavors, but this stuff is instant relief. I'm using it every night now that I'm on Accutane and it just provides instant relief. Um, it is sort of like a gel texture, a dense gel, and I find that if I apply this before bed, I wake up with lip balm still on my lips. And I think that that is pretty spectacular. And I find that it takes me forever to go through one of these um, little tubs. It is a good investment. So I'm super fussy when it comes to SPF right? It's got to be just right. This is one of my favorites. The Ultraviolet SPF 50 Queen Screen. It's the one in the pipette. So I did use this when my skin was oily, but truthfully, I prefer this one when I'm on the drier side because it has such a glossy finish. It's a very luminous uh, SPF. If you can wait about 10 minutes um, after you apply your SPF and before you go in with your makeup, so maybe like style your hair or... Uh, grab a coffee. If you can give it that 10 minutes just to settle in, it I find works a little bit better. There's just less slip and slide on the face. As long as you're on board with that glossy finish, this is a very cosmetically elegant sunscreen. So it's got a very lightweight fluid texture. It's super easy to spread. Um, it's not gritty like some sunscreens. Uh, it doesn't have much of a white cast at all. And because it's quite silicone heavy, it makes a beautiful base for foundation, especially if you have a little bit more of a drier skin type. Also, I really trust uh, Australian sunscreens because the, the um, SPF testing in Australia is the most rigorous in the world, if I remember correctly. So there's no SPF 19 drama here. All right, my last favorite mightn't look like a skincare favorite, but it absolutely is. This is one of the Sh Silk 
pillowcases. So I used to hear people talk about pill silk pillowcases and I was like, man, this is, this is too bougie. This is too bougie for me. Once I tried it, I could not go back. Now, when I wake up in the morning, my face doesn't have a whole bunch of like creases and folds and areas where my pillow has kind of stamped something onto my face. This is so much more gentle on the skin. And I would, I would debate that it maybe could be classified as an anti-aging product. It's also really brilliant for hair. It's much gentler on the hair, so you get less breakage. And I will never go back. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is a skincare product that you have just repurchased and repurchased and repurchased over the years? Um, I would love to go down and read your favorites and maybe add a few to my collection. Also, come say hello to me on Instagram at Kareem and McKimmy. I love chatting to you guys there. I hope you guys are having the best day and I shall speak to you all very soon. <laughs>